Hello, this is Reza from Radicad, and today I'm going to talk about how to implement customer retention scenario in Power BI using DAX calculations or DAX measures, uh, something like new uh, customers, lost customers, returning customers based on a dynamic period, based on a date. Let's see how it works. Customer retention is an important subject um, in a lot of businesses. A lot of businesses would like uh, want to know, is this customer a new customer? Is it a lost customer or is it a returning customer? Uh, I've created a different uh, video about uh, how to calculate it using DAX, but that is talking about the current state of a customer like this customer is a new customer right now or is it or it is a lost customer right now it's not talking about period by period it is also important for a lot of businesses to understand that by period for example this business likes to know for example in each period consider a month a period in this scenario in each period how many new customers they have, how many lost customers, how many uh, returning customers. Um, and this calculation can be also dynamic, like you can change the period and the calculation changes based on the period calculation as well. So bigger the period, more returning and new customers I would have, smaller the period, more lost customers I have. Uh, how this calculation works, it uh, has a lot of expressions and calculations. You can download this file down in the description below from my blog, list, uh, blog link. Uh, let's start here with an example. So um, I've created a few, uh, a few measures. By the way, this model looks like this. I have a customer table, a sales table and a date table. A uh, very simple model, they are all connected to each other. Um, I have a measure for sales, which is giving me sum of the sales amount. So that's the sales itself. Now to calculate this period's customers, uh, this is just the distinct count of the customers. So I've created a measure saying this is distinct count of customers and that is the customers in each period. Like for example, December 2005, I have this many customers, just a distinct count. Now I have also another measure running total customers because for example, by December 2005, you would like to know in total how many customers you have up to that date or in May 2006, how many you have up into that date, which is another expression, uh, running total. You can use the quick measure to create this running total, or you can use a code like this provided. Uh, this is calculating all uh, the count of customers up until that period. And the reason for this, if sales is greater than zero, is that if there is a month that there is no sales, probably those months that is in the future, uh, I'm not interested to get the result of the, uh, for those months. Uh, now, talking about new customers, returning customers, lost customer, another interest, another important calculation you need is um, running total, not just for the customer count, running total of the uh, sales. So this running total is running total of sales, similar to the previous one, but it is sales. So for any given period, for example, May 2006, this will give you the sum of sales up until that uh, date. So considering these calculations, I have created a new customer calculation. This is a new customer calculation. Um, again, you can download the code from my blog, uh, link down in the description. Um, so I got the current date, the given date, and then the sales uh, for that period. Uh, for the customer table, I'm adding a column, which is the sales of the last period. In this case, I consider this as a fixed period last one year, let's say this is minus one year, and the running total of sales. So if in the last year, or let's say in the last period, this customer purchased something, and the amount of that purchase is similar to the total purchase of that customer from the beginning, uh, from the start of this business till that time. So if these two values are equal to each other, then it is a new customer, right? 
and if we have a sales in that period of course this is considered as a new customer a returning customer is kind of using the same calculation a little bit different criteria so same period uh, again same calculation for the last period and same running total but this time if the last period sales is less than their running total sales then this customer have purchased before so it is not a new customer it is a returning customer uh, and similar to that for the last customer of course you can say last customer is let's say running total of customer minus returning minus new uh, but in case you don't want returning you just want last customer by itself this is a calculation for that again similar to that the difference is that this time if there is no sales in the last period but the customer had sales up until that date then this is a last customer so altogether these calculations are like this here you can see how these calculation works for example it shows that in july 2005 we had 146 customers altogether nothing lost nothing returning in August, same thing, uh, because returning for me, this fixed period is a year, so it takes at least a year to get to the point that I see some lost or returning customers. And the calculation works like that. And I have this also as a detail here, which if I click on this, I can actually filter those customers that have been returning or lost or new, and I can see them here. Now, <clears throat> now this can be enhanced with making the rate uh, making, making the period flexible so what I've done I've created a new parameter uh, and I called it period parameter this period parameter I uh, started from 1 to increment 1 at a time let's say to 24 this consider this as months like one month ago 24 months ago you can go as, many, as much as you want increment 1 at a time and the default is 1 Right. I've created this parameter and creating that parameter ended up with creating this table. Uh, when you use a parameter, what if parameter, this creates it like that. Uh, and it comes with also a measure like this, a period value measure, which is the selected value. Now I went and create some new measures using that. And these are those measures. So one of those measures is new customers. Uh, which is exactly similar to the previous calculation. The only difference is that instead of going one year back, I'm going to uh, minus one multiply period value because period value was uh, positive. So this way I can make it negative to go back and month because I'm going that many months back. The rest of the calculation is the same. Similar to this for last customer with minus one multiply period value month and for the returning customers so all of those became flexible with just using this uh, this option now i have that in my uh, table over here and if i make this period longer you can see that i have more lost customer the longer to period i would have more lost customers uh, sorry less lost customers the shorter the period i will have more lost customers and returning customer and new customer and if you click on any of these you will be able to see that customer if it is a returning customer then you can go drill through to that customer and see that this customer actually purchased multiple times so it is actually a returning customer um, you can implement this drill through uh, through the methods that i explained previously in my other blog post or if it is a new customer you can go and see how many transactions this customer got so this is new customer in 2008 because only did these transactions in 2008 this can be also implemented in a chart so here i have a chart as you can see with a new customer returning customer and lost customer by the period and i can change the period that i'm calculating lost or new customers by it and you see all of these calculations are changing so everything dynamic all by period calculated using tax measures uh, uh, if you want to download the file again the link down in the description below to my blog post if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel we have weekly videos of power bi and ai